I think you want to give options and alternatives to people. Um, there are those who are quite prepared to do a number of transfers because it gets them to their destination in a more timely manner. But there are a number of commuters who are prepared to take a bus, even though it may take a longer time and the distance travelled may be a longer one. They're prepared to, to, to take you know, um, just one mode on one bus in order to get them to their destination. But we know also that increasingly that may well be the preferred mode of travel. I mean, you have, you have sort of alluded to it that, you know, people tend to prefer rail over buses. And indeed it is, um, you know, we, we have also observed that it's been so. Having said that, I think also that <clears throat> the thing you can do in the near term and in the medium term is to increase the bus capacity and provide options for those who may want to move to this because they find that you know, for them it is more comfortable, uh, the timeliness of the journey is, is not as important as it is to others. All right? So what we want to try and do is actually to make sure that we do offer options to people. Right? Walk instead of taking a feeder if you choose to do so. Take a bus instead of a more crowded train if you find that that suits your preferences. If I move to talk about the land transport master plan and the rail lines that we are putting in and that will come into effect, say, in a decade's time, um, we are really looking at doubling the number of households that will be within 400 and 600 metres. Okay, so, so, so that's to give a picture of um, the options and alternatives of people that instead of taking a feeder, uh, walking may also be an additional option. Even in some of the measures that we have tried to uh, deal with congestion, the pre-peak um, discount, uh, 30 cents now from the 10 cents today and extending it from 7.30 in the morning to 7.45. So immediately those who are already doing their journey and exiting the stations at 7.45, before 7.45, they will benefit from it without changing their behavioural patterns. And there are some who may complete their journey, say by about 8, and find it worth their while to bring it forward a little bit. Um, and that I think would, would be helpful, that's the intent of the scheme. But there are others who find that it is not worth their while to do so. They would rather stick to their um, existing um, travel patterns and that's fine as well. But at least we have given options to people to make changes if necessary and find ways to incentivize them to do so.